What's up guys, Headphone Neil here with a slightly different post in that I wanted to share my quick thoughts of the OnePlus 9 Pro camera. So I was playing around with some of the settings today, or rather than the settings, I was playing around with the camera app today, just taking pictures of some flowers and nature and all of that just to see how the camera handles. Um, it's a nice sunny day, so no other weather issues. So no major weather issues. There's um, no clouds. It's a generally sunny day. Uh, light um, breeze in the air, so nothing um, crazy there, but there was a little bit of wind. So I thought, you know what, I'm out for my walk. Let me take a couple of pictures, see how the camera holds up just by doing a general point and shoot or point and click to see how the camera or see how the pictures come out. So when you check out the, the post on the website, you will see um, two pictures. One is with the, gen the regular camera mode, the regular lower megapixel version. I forget how many it is for that. I want to say 16, but um, I don't have it handy. And then I have the full um, megapixel version, the 48 or 50 megapixels, whatever that um, bigger megapixel camera or bigger megapixel lens is, uh, just to see how they hold up, how they compare against each other. And I want to say overall, I'm impressed. The one thing I noticed in taking these pictures is that overall, the smoothness, color balancing, and all of that seems to be a lot better, or not a lot, but noticeably better than what I've seen in previous OnePlus phones. So whether it's lens improvements, uh, hardware improvements, the collaboration with Hasselblad, um, or maybe all of the above. But overall, I want to say that the picture quality is pretty good. And part of it I want to say also that is that the camera is um, also probably because it's new that um, it's still you know in that it's still been a couple of weeks only since I've had the camera so it might be a matter of still getting used to the camera and being new and all of that but essentially what I found in the camera is that it seems like it's picking up the shadows the colors normalizing the colors a lot better than what I've seen in prior versions of the camera so um, in prior versions it's been one of those things where the default picture that is taken may or may not be a good picture to use and if it's not a good picture then it's one of those or if it's let's say an okay picture or the colors don't seem to be popping enough then you have to go into Google Photos or Snapseed or Lightroom or some other app to enhance the colors to make it that much better but there are other other times when the colors do stand out and they're popping and they are um, smooth enough or normalized enough to the point where they're good so I want to say that my initial impressions after taking a few pictures not too as many as I normally would over the past few weeks they've been consistently good as far as the colors of going in to edit them it has not really that provided that much more of an improvement so I thought I would do my um, initial thoughts on the camera now that I've had a chance to take, just go out take a picture and um, pointedly see how they hold up and how they turn out so if you check out this post on the website then I'll, you'll see the two pictures I took one is the wide picture that you can take just by opening that camera app and taking the picture the other one is with the higher megapixel lens so you can kind of see how they turn out um, as I said no edits were made to the pictures um, I didn't do any other I think all the settings I left at or all the settings were left at the default settings so basically how I got the phone um, and it was a, basically it's a nice sunny day a light breeze so basically no major conditions to otherwise impair the taking of the picture um, I mean for me ideally I would have wanted a sunny day and no breeze just so I have the stillest picture possible but the, the light breeze kind of makes it to the point where we don't have to worry about or I can kind of emulate having some sort of condition that is going to make it not as easy to take a good picture so um, granted we're going to be going in or we're in spring and we're going to be going into the summer so there's probably not going to be too many weather variations at least in, at least in California so maybe some a couple of days of rain maybe but because it's California probably not so 
Um, essentially from here it's gonna be just okay it's gonna be a sunny day so let me try in a couple of different so it's gonna be easier to take pictures and the true test will come later this year when it when we get into fall and winter so when it starts getting more overcast uh, more cloudy um, even rainy just to, then maybe a little bit more windy but that's gonna be more down the line so essentially picture conditions are gonna be a little a lot more easier in the coming months rather than later on down the line but overall I want to say if I was to grade the camera um, app and photo abilities as of right now um, a couple weeks in I give it a grade of about a 90 to 95 percent is good the colors are nice and balanced and generally just a good a good um, photo taking app um, and in taking the pictures, it was one of those things where I, you know, kind of waited to, for the um, wind to be at a minimum. But um, in taking the pictures, um, overall, I want to say they're generally pretty good. And um, that's all there is for that. So going back to having to edit, editing the pictures, um, kind of what kind of makes it to the point where. So uh, one thing might be turn out good, but something else might not. Um, you know, editing HDR filters or drama filters kind of takes away from the original image and is not as good of um, not as much good of an image as the original. So um, you can so for example, playing around with a bigger camera shot. Um, I can, if I apply, for example, the accentuate filter, um, it kind of darkens part of the sky and makes a blue, um, more of a regular blue rather than a sky blue. Um, using the pop filter, um, kind of, it makes the colors a little bit brighter. Um, can't really say anything negative about it aside from the lighter part of the sky becoming. Uh, lighter. If I make it, if I use a smooth filter, it makes it a little bit darker. Um, so things like that. So, like I said, um, editing the pictures is not something that is something that um, needs to be done or um, is worth doing. So that is all for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can find me on. Uh, Twitter at Patel N01 or uh, comment on this post as a patron at patreon.com slash Patel N01 if you want more information on uh, feedback or my thoughts or settings or anything like that. This goes for everybody that if you want my general thoughts on using the camera or additional thoughts, um, maybe some of the framing options and things like that, then um, you can find me on or contact me on either place. But that's all for this particular review and update. Thanks for tuning in and supporting the show. And until next time.